Hello, my name is Connor and I'm here today to show you the Sawtex texture pack. And it actually looks really good. It actually kind of uh, virtually it reminded me of this this fax texture pack. That's why I chose to do this one. But anyways, let's get on with the video. So, as always, we're starting off with the mining and straight off, here's the gold, the gold block, the gold bar. Actually looks like a gold bar. Here's your ores, your iron ore your iron bar and your iron block that looks familiar I think I've seen that in another one somewhere or a similar texture it's the coal block the coal ore redstone it's just plain red I, I like that one to be honest I like the the whole redstone thing the redstone it's like a more detailed one of the original same with this lapis I'm not sure if Lapis is real, but I, I wonder what it looked like in real life anyway. But same with this um, redstone block, it looks, I mean Lapis block looks just as good as the the redstone. I prefer the more plain look, and I'm actually going to have to set the time. Wait, so it's time, time, set, zero. So I had to reset that there. And this actually looks very similar to the Doku Craft Emerald. I've never seen an emerald in real life, but I've seen a lot of them look, a lot of emeralds look like that, so, I mean, I'm not, this isn't meant to be a realistic pack, at least I don't think so, the quartz ore actually looks really cool, same with the quartz block, diamond block, kind of looks like ice, the diamond, and that one looks realistic. Again, I don't think it's meant to be realistic, I think it's meant to be cartoony, kind of. I actually don't know, I didn't really read the description, but that's what I saw when I first looked at this, I saw a cartoony, but a lot of this stuff does look kind of realistic. But anyways, in to the farming now. The pumpkin, spooky, spooky I guess. I always look back at these stems, and I think these ones are actually, oh my god, they're different. They're actually different again, wow. So over to the wheat, this looks... Again, all this stuff looks realistic. Here's your wheat in progress. So that's your wheat in progress. Your carrots. This time we can actually see the carrots. Compared to the other, the other texture packs. You couldn't actually see the orange, so you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Potatoes. Again, you can actually see the potato. And melons. I didn't really look at this. I like the, the texture on that melon. And in fact, so far, that's probably my favorite block. Something about it. It's my favourite. So, utilities. Still no labels anywhere. But this is the crafting bench. That's what it looks like when you're in the crafting bench. The furnace. When you're inside. Chest. When you're inside. And the chest is exactly the same. And again, I really like this, this ender chest. And the anvil. That's what it looks like inside. Skeleton with a skeleton. I actually can tell the difference between the zombie and the creeper this time. And the original Steve actually looks kind of cool. It does look cartoony. I, I really do actually like this texture pack. I have used it before. Once before. And I, I actually... This texture pack is amazing. And so far I haven't actually shown this fence off. So here's the fence. Good detailed look at it. It's the bottom. Next up, we have transport. The minecart, as you can see, always going around in circles. Furnace minecart, still no fuel in it. The boat, this is what it looks like to be in a boat. I haven't actually shown that yet. I should probably show the minecart as well. This is kind of loud, but this is what it's like to be in a minecart in Minecraft. It just keeps going around in circles forever. I don't know when I made it, but I've been on this world for nearly, well, it's over 11 hours, so this was one of the first, this was one of the first sections. The first section I made was the, the mining section, but Jesus, that's been going around for quite a while now. The carrot on a stick and the pig. I'm pretty sure there's only one kind of pig, but maybe there'll be different kinds of pigs. Don't know, it really does look cool, that one. The redstone, 
TNT in the hopper cart. TNT. Well, that's cool. That's cool, cool. As always, the flower section. And as you can see, they're all still labelled. The two highs are still at the front. The sunflower looks realistic. What do you know? Here's your... I'm not even going to say it. Yeah. The rose bush and the lilac. I'm not a big fan of these ones. Dandelion, poppy, yeah. All these, I'm not a big fan. That does look kind of realistic. Again, I'm not going to keep saying that because this texture pack, I'm not sure if it's meant to or if it isn't, but I do like the tulips in this one. I don't like the flowers where they have these little bits of... Uh... Well, you can't tell these that they're just crossover, kind of. Just two 2D shapes, but... With these, it's so much more... Like, you could tell that it's fake. But with them, look, you can't you can't really tell that it's fake. So I I really do like these these kind of flowers. I don't like the, all the grassy bits on the bottom. Here are the trees and the wood, the oak wood. And honestly, so far, I said this last two times, this is my favorite wood. This is my favorite wood so far. Just the planks and stuff. But here's the uh the foliage. The actual tree, oak sapling. It actually looks like a baby tree, kinda. You got your oak wood. Again, I actually really like this. The the look of the bark that really does look cool. Birch wood. Uh, jungle wood. Your jungle sapling and. It's nice to see there's different textures, but the jungle one looks similar. It's in a different pan, but it's similar to the oak. The spruce. Here's your spruce wood. And the colours in these actually look amazing. Although I did like the last ones, so I can't say they're my favourite, because I prefer the colours from the Doku Craft. But these textures are amazing. Dark oak wood. And the wonky ass tree that... I don't know why it grew that way, that's just how it grew. And the dark oak sapling. And again, the acacia, or whatever you call it. Still don't know what it's called. And there's your sapling. The tree looks really cool, but that's to do with Minecraft, not the texture pack. Here's your red mushroom. Your brown mushroom. And your little mushrooms, your brown mushrooms, your red mushrooms. They all look cool. I swear that looks similar to the to the original. I know that doesn't. That looks cool. But I swear inside it kind of looks like vanilla. Same with the stem. And the cactus. Still doesn't hurt me. I'm in creative mode. So the glass dies and whatever. Here's the originals. So that's what normal glass looks like. Glass. And then this is glass pane. And... These are more similar to the original, I mean, the vanilla ones. They're not too coloured. I do like this this wall and this carpet. They look amazing. That could actually look like a rug or something like that, maybe. But yeah, these are... I'm going to be honest. I'm being honest here. I think I prefer these. I said last time that I prefer more colour on them, on the glass, but... They, uh, it is a bit weird to have too much colour. Because it doesn't change the light of the room or anything like that. It just It's just the window, so... You actually have to see through it. But this, it's just a slight hint. I'm always going to say the newest one is better. I don't know why. I'm not trying to be nice to them, it's just my opinion. I know, no one really cares, but... I actually like these, these glass and... Especially this wall and the, what do you call this? Carpet. Yeah, the carpet, the wall. Even the clay. The clay looks better as well. So let's show off what the actual dyes look like. Dye. So they're just dollops. They're not on anything this time. The last two times they were in pots of jam and pieces of paper, but now they're just dollops of dye. I can, I can deal with that. 
Now for the random blocks or building blocks, whatever you want to call them. Here's the sand section. And that sandstone is realistic. I like the look of that sandstone. Smooth sandstone and chiseled. Again, this looks... If it was higher textured or detailed, then this would look a lot better. But that one's... There's just not enough um, pixels on it. If that's what you call it. It's a snow section. It's just snow. Your packed ice. You can't see through that one, remember. And actually, this is clay. Which does look completely different. Honestly, that looks completely... Well, I don't have to be honest. But that really does look completely different. And ice. And I better change the time again. Oops. Never brick. So you have your hand clay, your lit up, Me a pumpkin, sorry, it's going to say melon, jack-o'-lantern, whatever, glowstone, I honestly do love this glowstone, I love that glowstone, your, ch your cracked stone, sorry, chiseled stone, mossy stone brick, and stone brick, wait, what are these, cracked stone brick, sorry, yeah, um, over, this is bedrock. Looks similar to clay. Obsidian. Did I show these red sand bricks? Here's your regular stone, your end stone. Kind of looks like sand. Don't know if that's a mess up or something. Mossy stone, cobblestone. Don't get me wrong, it does look great. It just, it looks quite similar to the smooth sand. No, actually, just the normal sand. Just the regular. Podzol. Mycelium and soul sand that looks completely different. Same with the Neverac, they're both quite different to the originals. Here's your slabs, your bookshelves, and all your assorted quartz, your hay bales, your sponge. That is, it's it, obviously it looks like sponge, but that one uh, kind of looks. I don't know, more realistic is, does that look like sand, or a sponge? And then your gravel. Here are the stairs. Again, I haven't labelled any of this stuff, because you've already seen what it looks like, so you'll know which one's which. Moving on to the redstone. Again, none of this is labelled. Again, I guess I apologise. Wooden pressure plate, stone pressure plate. Uh, what, what are these called? <laughs> this is why it should be labelled. Trip wire hook, and there's your, your what's his face, the string. Stone button, wooden button. This is the light pressure plate, and the heavy pressure plate, iron and gold, basically. Again, I can't remember these, redstone repeater, redstone comparator. I'm not one of the people that use a lot of redstone stuff. Here's your redstone trail, which does look cool. Non-stone trail, that's your redstone trail. Your wooden door. Yeah, your wooden door, your hopper. Iron door. Your trap door. Your gate. Light sensor. Note block. Again, these are similar dropper. <laughs> you would have thought I would have learned these by now. Dispenser and light, which I'm going to have to pick this up again. I'm going to leave it here this time, but this is your light. Lamp. Redstone lamp. Your TNT that's not in a minecart. Sticky piston, that is a better look, honestly. Your normal piston, and your piston in use. Onto the mobs now. To the left, you have your ocelots. They, honestly, they look better in this texture pack, I like them. The wolves, they're angry as usual. Squids, tiny eyes on these ones. And it managed to get through the glass. No, it's, it's just glitching a little. Your mushrooms you'll never ever see. Unless you choose to find the world like that. So your bats, they look original. Pigs. Your assorted sheep. And they're their faces. They're kind of creepy looking. Your cows. Horse with all the armor. Chickens. Donkey, donkey with a saddle. And a backpack. Villagers. They actually look like humans this time. On to the hostile mobs. So the hostile mobs had to stop and spawn them in. 
slimes, you creepers. I like the uh, eye effect on them, or the, the way the eyes look. Skeletons, and again, forgot the ghast. Don't know how that guy got in there, but here's the zombies. Enderman. No blaze, again. Uh, the the, the half-human. Zombie pigmen, that, that's what they're called. Silverfish. They don't look weird this time. Cave spiders. Again, they, they kind of look like the originals. Magma cube and witches. It's your spider. Your blaze and your ghast. Again, it looks similar to the one from last time. But they are the mobs. Next up, we, uh, don't worry about them. We have the fences. Never act fence. Or never brick fence. Your iron bars. Stone fence. And mossy stone fence. On to the armors. So I'm starting off with gold this time. I'm not going to go in any, any specific order. But here's the gold armor. As you can see. It literally just looks like gold armor. Leather. Let's go with the leather armor. Again, it looks quite familiar to the, uh, similar to the original. It just looks like leather. Chain. Let's check this one out. Takes a while to keep switching all these. Chain. Again, it looks like the original and it actually looks like chain armor. The whole set looks like chain armor. And your iron. Like, there's no fa real fancy looks to these, it's just literally iron armor, gold armor, diamond armor. Don't get me wrong, it does look great, but it literally is just the specific armors. There you go, so that's your diamond armor. Last but not least, the items that I did not place. So, as you got your fishes, your food, that's one hell of a spider eye. Your tools. Flint and steel. Oh, cool! That's got like a little animated picture. It's your clock. The swords. They look different. The bow. There's that. The brewing stuff. Fermented spider eye. It looks like there's two there. I'm pretty sure you only use one to make it. It's your never star. I think that's basically it. So um. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed this texture pack. Link is in the description. This was the, I can't even remember the name, but it was a great texture pack. I do honestly like this one. I haven't used it too much, but I do recommend it. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.